You're watching Good Morning Carolinas with Crystal Costa, meteorologist Darren Stack, and Amanda Kinseth. Welcome back. It's 522 on this Tuesday morning. And of course, baby week continues here on Good Morning Carolinas as our own Amanda Kenseth is expecting. And if you're planning a baby shower for a loved one, we've got some incredible ideas for you this morning. Yes, Amanda Kenseth is out live at GG Noel events in Myrtle Beach. We're talking all things baby showers this morning. That's right. These guys are so creative. And just look at this little mini baby shower over so, here. This is so cute. It's perfect for a little girl. Yeah. Perfect. So tell me about some of the stuff you have over here. So obviously, if it's a little girl, we want to go all pink and as pink as we can go. Um, what's great about this entire thing is that, you know, especially the high chair was mine when I was little. So. 31 years ago, <laughs> this is what I sat in, nice. and we actually just took a can of spray paint and spray painted the entire thing pink. Nice. So that's really great. Um, you know, anything that you can do dessert-wise that says it's a girl or a pink bow is always really wonderful as well. We took these baby blocks and actually just covered them in uh, cardstock that we purchased from Michael's and then just place them on top of one another. Huh. Now you can spell baby or you could do your little girl's name, which is really sweet, and then put them in her bedroom. And then something that's really fun is, obviously as a mommy-to-be, you can't drink, <laughs> but your guests can drink. And this is a really fun party favor that you could do a pink bottle of champagne and make a really fun little tag. And this can be a great party favor or a game, you know, if you win a game up there, so. I love it. Very so nice. Fun. And you've got the little sonogram pictures with the little glittery we clips did, yes, on there. Yes. And, and we painted those. You know, little glue, little glitter goes a long way. And all pink. I love all how pink. you take just simple things and you make them look so cute. Yes. Very nice. Guys, what do you think? So elegant. Very yeah. creative and beautiful mm -hmm. and timeless too, really. And easy to do. Love that part, yeah. especially for ladies <laughs> planning baby showers. It's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Carolinas, with Crystal Costa, meteorologist Darren Stack, and Amanda Kinseth. Welcome back. It's almost 5.51 and calling all expectant <laughs> mothers, whether you're having a boy or a girl or if you're waiting to find out the sex of your baby, there are plenty of creative and fun ways to celebrate your bundle of joy. And this morning, WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kinseth has all the ideas. ideas. She's live at Gigi Noel and Events in Myrtle Beach with all the details. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, earlier we saw the, the, the all pink girls all and pink. now we're on to the boys. And everything is blue. <laughs> so this morning we're going to make bow ties. So our theme for little boys are mustaches and bow ties. <laughs> so we think this is a really cool way to have the silverware prepared. And it's very simple, Amanda. You're just going to get little beverage napkins. And we're just going to put them together, a little crinkle them together, just like you would do a hair bow. What a cute just idea. Just like this. And these came from the party store. You can get them anywhere. And you just take your fork and your spoon and you put them tightly together and then you just take your pretty little bow tie that you've made put it on your silverware and we're going to turn it upside down and we're going to tie it with our ribbon that we pre-cut and this ribbon can just be ribbon that you can pick up anywhere at a party store or wherever you have it on sale or um, it can be really any colors or whatever type that you like and we're just going to tie this as tight as we can and then we're going to turn this back over and we're going to poof it out and we're going to take a pair of scissors which i don't have but we'll take a pair of scissors and we're just going to make little bow ties <laughs> i love it, it so very, easy oh i see so scissors cute coming and across colorful. the table oh look look what do you think? Are these not the cutest ideas? <laughs> Adorable. Those ladies are so creative. Yeah. They always give us fantastic ideas. And we did the girls in the last half hour, boys mm -hmm. now. So we're talking about the parents who wait to find out the gender in the next half hour. Oh, yeah. You're watching Good Morning Carolinas with Crystal Costa, meteorologist Darren Stack, and Amanda Kinseth. Welcome back. It's 619 on this Tuesday morning. And of course, our baby week is continuing on Good Morning Carolinas this week, as our own Amanda Kenseth is expecting. Now, if you're planning a baby shower for a loved one, we've been showing you incredible ideas all morning long. And that's where we find WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kenseth live at Gigi Noel events in Myrtle Beach, talking about the reveal now, right, Amanda? <laughs> 
Yeah, that's right. We did earlier. We did girl, and then boy. Now it's girl or boy. Girl and or boy. Yeah. This is uh, becoming a really big trend. It is. It is. It's. I think that they want to be able to share that experience of finding out if it's a boy or a girl with their family and friends. So they're having um, not so much a baby shower, but a gender reveal party. And so we did a little bit of decor for that because we are going to reveal <laughs> what's in the belly. Yeah. And we can share with everybody. And it's fun. So you have a little bit of pink, a little bit of blue. A little bit of pink, yep, a little bit of blue. Um, it, we can take from what we had before and we just put it together now. Yeah. Mix the candy so it's all mixed Very in. Nice. And sh so, so shall I do the you honors? Do the honors. Okay, and, and share. I love the cake. This is from This Chris is from Croissants, which is amazing, and they're located in Myrtle Beach, right on Grissom. Uh oh. And the big thing that they're doing now is once you cut the cake, it's going to show if it's pink or blue. And that's going to be that's able to tell everybody exactly what you're having. Okay. Here we go. I think it's a girl. <laughs> Let's see. There it's it is. It's a boy. Yay. It's a boy. <laughs> Boy. Yay. There it is, guys. Boy. That's right awesome. there. <laughs> so cute. Congrats to our Amanda. That's going to be her second boy. Yes. Of course, we're in love with Charlie, uh -huh. our little baby. But uh, yeah, she's going to be leaving us after a few weeks from now, probably at the end of the month, yep. just for some maternity leave. Yep. And she better be coming back to us. Yeah, don't worry. She'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> if you're just waking up with us, Amanda Kinzen <laughs> is having a boy. We just found out about 20 minutes ago yeah. in a baby shower reveal. It's one of many topics that she's covering on baby showers this morning. Yeah, it's baby week here on GMC, so Amanda <laughs> has been out live at Gigi Noel events in Myrtle Beach continuing this. What's going on, Amanda? Yeah, and the baby reveal is so much fun. Uh, this came from croissants. It is. We're so excited. Heather did all of the pastries. She does a lot of gender reveal cakes, so it's a new thing, but I think it's very popular. She did the most amazing cookies, um, again, to, to reveal the gender. And we were trying to think of some fun things to do, so now the baby food jars are really pretty. So one of the things that we did is that we did banana pudding in baby food jars. Nice! And we got really <laughs> lucky. We found little blue spoon so we thought that was really cute and again we you helped us make the napkins yeah you know you've got all these cute ideas I mean we made napkins into little bow ties you know if you're Absolutely. having a, a boy and then you've and then, got these cute little boxes that you covered with paper we did those were just simple boxes and if it had been a girl we could have actually made them into hair bows which would have been very cute as well so we went and we just we cut out um, boy or girl of course now we know we're having a little boy yeah and it's so. just all the little things that you do that makes it cute and fun and uh, and she's about to pop. And I'm about to pop. <laughs> Guys, Precisely. I love it. We've got just a couple more weeks with Amanda, then yeah. she's taking some much needed, I, I don't want to call it time off, because it is not time no. off when you have a newborn <laughs> at no. home, but she she'll be She quickly us. corrected us on that. Yeah, she goes, Crystal, it is not relaxing. I said, you are absolutely right. <laughs> All 